Hey guys, it's Ali, and we're watching Supernatural Season 13, Episode 18, Bring Them Back Alive. I have mixed feelings about this episode going in. I was excited because we get Cass, we get Gabriel, we get Mary, Jack, and everything. But it's also written by Buck Lemming, which is <laughs> sad to say the least. But yeah, I'm just gonna go in, see how it goes. Hopefully, not wanna die. <laughs> There they are. Different than my last drop by. Well, that's just perfect. Would having a little bit of backup really be so bad? If it's you, maybe. <laughs> so he's coming. Great. What oh, the this fuck? Is quite for high crimes of fermenting rebellion against the Archangel Michael. Oh. These humans shall be executed. So they work for Michael? No. Wait. <gasps> Charlie? No. Not if I have to see her be killed skull. again, I'm gonna flip shit. You're with the resistance in a circle. So she's, she's a badass in every universe. When the resistance crushes you, I'm gonna be there to shred your feathers and grind them into dust. Yes. Charlie. Dean is in Apocalypse World alone? Well, but he's with Cass, so he's not alone. Because that makes it so much better. Cass, yes, he wanted to go Cass, solo. go off. And you let... He didn't tell me it was this bad. This is so sad. Well, years of isolation and torture. But oof, Cass's hair? Grace. <laughs> I'm the worst. Gabriel, it's Sam Winchester. You remember me? I don't think he does. Well... <laughs> Sam, I don't think he's gonna open up and let the choo choo in. Cass. A technique are you for feeding the calcium. Hey, hey, hey. I don't like this one bit. Bucky Buck Lemming. Why? Oh. Where have you been? Out. Oh, out. Daniel. So you might want to, I don't know, pitch in, drop the attitude, stay by my side. Oh. Oh. Choke. I'm here, aren't I? On the throne. I hate him so much. Avail Couples issues aren't my Ew. Area. Ew. So that's They're yes. not a couple. Okay. We don't have the manpower. He's a priority. Ooh, so scary. I'm the one on the throne right now, and y'all are gonna treat me that way, okay? Such uh -huh. a bitch. Well, before all of us start treating you like God, you might try acting like God. Just a thought. Ugh, Joe, go off. <laughs> oh, I can't believe Danielle is being treated like this. The Archangel. What I is that? I should at least my say we're blood brothers. Excuse What? What is that? Catch! Come on. Damn. Did he just get shot? Four, five hours from here. Follow the road. Okay, thanks. Great. Perfect. Cass! Damn. I saw these in the promo pics, but I thought Cass put it up so no one could find Gabriel. Apparently, Gabriel put him up. Can you do this? I know you. It's his story. <gasps> what? Starts with it. And so I did what anyone would do. I moved to Monte Carlo and shacked up with porn stars. <gasps> well, he, he goes on and on for quite a while about porn stars, and I uh, guess, please. Okay, so Gabriel was captured, delivered to Asmodeus. For years, I knew nothing but endless torture. Asmodeus, once the weakest of house princes, grew strong by feeding on my grace. So he's been down there for years? No. No. No, I'd rather die right now. I'd rather die. Please, God. Please, God. Are you yelling? Losers whining. I can't believe Pop put up with it as long as he did. What do you think humans are? 
these I don't even recognize. Yeah. It's, it's kinky stuff. Angel killing bullets. No. <laughs> oh, well, I... You don't look good. Oh, well, you're not my type either. I'm fine. We'll take a break. Your wound may be more. You look terrible. <sighs> you know, it wouldn't kill you alive now and again. No, it wouldn't kill me. I just. You. Forget it. Well, you on the other hand, you. <clears throat> looking good. I must reiterate, it's not possible for an angel to heal an archangel. Not with that attitude. But your family needs you. Jack, your nephew, needs you. The world needs you. We need you. Gabriel, I need you. So please, I help can't believe us. they pulled a Dean Cass. Oh, family. I need you. I need you. Wow. Porn stars. That's the first thing you say? They were porn stars, Sam. Gabriel. <laughs> Perhaps we can use this moment to revisit the Charlie Why are you so... <sighs> Leave it be. They're gonna kill her. I swear to God. Charlie was like fair, Mike. We're going here. She was butchered. That's the word you're gonna use. And we couldn't get there in time. Oh. Uh, perhaps rescuing this Charlie will wash some of the stain off my hands. I know your hands are pretty stained, buddy. One more time. Bite me. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I'll try harder. Bite me. No. No, I don't want to see this. It's come to my attention you boys have something that belongs to me and I'd like it back. Can he fuck off? Nothing in this universe is worth my time or talent. Nothing. What time or talent? Why don't you make heaven right? Make good on your promises. Make angels. Give the existing ones their wings back. Yeah, I, I can't really do that. Knew it. Who's fucking lying? What? I lied. <laughs> So, uh, just keep that to yourself, though. Okay? Like, it's your fault for trusting Lucifer. It's not your father's propaganda that's killing you. It's your complete failure. You say you want to find your son, but yes. you don't. Go off. Not really. You can't create anything. You have nothing. You might as well go back to the cage. <sighs> Is she gonna die right now? <laughs> no. <sighs> And now you don't have me. He doesn't deserve you. <laughs> Thank God that's over. No, no. No. God, didn't you want to act sooner? Oh. I just really don't want to see Asmodeus right now. Ugh. Never send minions to do a true villain's <laughs> work. My husband base isn't even a true villain, so I get it. Oh, gas. Yes. Oh, come on. Your warden wasn't designed for the likes of me, Sam. <clears throat> Go take a hike. What is it? <gasps> oh, Gabriel's gonna go. Up. What are you doing? No, too Holy shit. <gasps> oh my god, I forgot he still has his wings. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was Not that? Anymore. <gasps> oh my god. <sighs> oh, yes. Finally. And you were friends with her. Me? Her? Yes, very. How very? So she was in the chicks. I like her. Look, I know this is a lot of information. 
Wait, are they bringing Charlie over? Michael wants to come to this Earth and destroy it, and we may need your help to fight him. What? Yeah. This is me watching this season. <laughs> Thank you for the rescue and for the redemption arc. But, uh... Fuck. <laughs> it's been, um... What's the opposite of fun? That. No, keep it on. You can't just walk away. If Michael he comes seriously? here, he will end this world. I think you can pull it off again. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Are you kidding you me? Turn. But I should stay. Wait, what? If we're going up against Michael, we need to be ready. We need to know what he's up to, where your mother and Jack are. I'm staying too. Charlie, no! Are you kidding me? That's not your call. This is the stupidest shit ever. Where's Mom? Where's Jack? <laughs> Funny story. <laughs> Sorry, hasn't Medeus got in here? Yeah, and, and, and Gabriel killed him. Gabriel? Well, that's great, so he's back. Where is he? <laughs> Funny story. We still have his grace, though, right? <laughs> Funny story. God. Sorry, How did cold. everything in this episode go Hold so on. wrong? It's a bug that episode, that's we why. Can't open. <laughs> if we can't open the door, then I should have never come back! Son of a bitch! Every time! I know this is emotional, but me... <laughs> We will find Gabriel. We will. We better. Okay. You know her? She's a reaper. Death asked me to keep an eye on you two. A little help would be nice. You've just been hovering around us, invisible, like a babysitter? More like a baby monitor. Then you've seen, um... Everything. Everything, everything? Supernatural, only next Thursday Great. at 8, 7 central on The CW. What the fuck? I mean, we get Rowena, which is the only plus. So, this episode was... something? Half of this episode I really liked, and then the other half I was like... What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. Okay, let's just go down the list of things that happened. So we got Gabriel and the whole Asmodeus thing with like the angel grace as well. Okay, they did Asmodeus' character so poorly. Like, I wasn't scared of him. I don't think Sam and Dean were scared of him. Like, even when they fucking called up Sam. Sam was like, okay, I'm gonna hang up now. It was literally just a Colonel Sanders that also just so happened to be in hell. <laughs> and Gabriel... So like, on the walls, Gabriel decides to just write his entire autobiography. Because why not? Then, he gets his Archangel Grace back, kills Asmodeus, which is, you know, makes sense but then he leaves he leaves <clears throat> god like literally no one else knew he was alive except asmodeus and like a few select demons so he could have just hid out at the bunker just chilling but no i'm just so tired right now like i need a nap after watching that episode okay um, the whole Sam Gabriel thing. Personally, I'm I'm not a Sabriel shipper. Mainly because like Gabriel literally forced Sam to watch his brother die dozens of times to prove a point about something. Like that was excessive. It was manipulative and honestly, it wasn't in his right to do so. I know we all laugh about that episode, but literally, in Sam's standpoint, that had to be traumatizing. So to use the same, the same words that Dean used for Cass in the crypt scene, which we all know, the crypt scene is possibly the gayest scene on the show. So, Obviously something's going on with Sam and Gabriel, but at the same time it's like 
why is there? Like, honestly, there's no real evidence for them, but you know, obviously, I have not looked into the Sabriel evidence yet, so I could just be missing out on something important that you guys do see, but that's my standpoint on it. Don't fucking crucify me if it's different, okay? I'm allowed to have different opinions. What else? Um, the whole Dean catch and the AU. Okay, a few things. The whole Charlie thing really bugged me. I feel like they just pulled that out of their ass because they needed something to happen over there to keep us interested since nothing has happened over there. It was like pouring salt in our boobs because honestly, I'm still not over it. It was such a stupid death that wasn't needed, didn't really help the plot in any way. They just did it because why not? It was a, She was a dynamic female character, so let's just kill her. And I just know she's gonna die in the AU, cause that's just what they do. Especially in a Buck Lemming episode. Like, are you for real? The people that killed her, you're gonna have them bring her back? But I do love her character. Her character in this episode was A+. plus. Loved it. Um, catch in this episode? Not every character needs a redemption arc. This show needs to get that into their head. None of us like to catch, cause Obviously, he was in the wrong, but Ketch didn't know he was in the wrong. He was just brought up that way. He learned from the British Men of Letters that that was the way to do it. So to now be like, oh yeah, Ketch is now self-aware. He knows he did bad shit. No, I don't know. It just bugs me. Not every character needs a redemption arc. Some people are just the way they are. Not everyone has to turn out to be an amazing person. I don't know. That's just me. But obviously, Ketch and his redemption arc is something. What else happened this episode? Oh, I literally almost forgot because it was so forgettable. Uh, Lucifer happened this episode. Lucifer and Joe um, never liked their chemistry, never liked their relationship, so I'm glad that's over, done with. Thank you. Only thing Buck Lemming did right. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. Don't fucking like roast me because I don't like Buck Lemming. Everyone can like who they want. So, continuing on. This episode wasn't my favorite, obviously, but I don't know, like on a scale of 1 to 10 it was like 5? <laughs> maybe? <laughs> maybe 6? Like I explained why I don't like it, but also just the general vibe that came with this episode it just wasn't good. Maybe I'm looking too much into things because you guys know I do. Next week we get a reaper, I think is what Dean said. And the reaper is gonna just follow them around. Who knows, Rowan is in the next episode, which is the only good thing that I saw. Who's right in next week's episode? <gasps> Steve Yoki! Okay, now I'm a little excited. <gasps> Cassiel's in next week's episode, oh my god. Okay, so the full, full thing. Sam and Dean must stop Rowena, who's on a deadly mission. Meanwhile, Cassio looks to heaven to recruit angels for an impending invasion, but is shocked by not only what he finds, but who. Shocker, shocker, I wonder who. Fucking Lucifer. Oh, and Gabriel comes back in episode 20, according to the little... And Eric Kripke and Meredith Glynn write the 20th episode. Eric Kripke? Meredith Glynn. <laughs> okay. I can get- I can get into this. I can get into it. So, okay. Next two episodes. Mm -hmm. I'm excited a little bit, mainly just because of the writers and also Gabriel comes back on the 20th. Next week, Cass is in it. But yeah, no, I'm finally excited for the next episode. I will see you guys next week.